Hi, this is Ed Pasco. Today I'm here with Louise Irvin, and we're going to talk about Royal Dalton figurines from the Art Deco period. So Louise, what's your favorites? Well, I think the butterfly girl must be one of my particular favorites. Uh, here she is, all dressed up for the masquerade ball of the era. And if you turn her around, you'll see that you can see the butterfly wings on the reverse. Uh, exquisitely painted and she's very much representing the fashions of the period. The dancers and the ballet wore butterfly costumes, adults and children alike went to the galas and fancy dress parties wearing the butterfly costumes and it really shows off the mastery of the artists working on the figurines during the 20s, the exquisite painting that could be achieved. What's so special about the pieces in the Art Deco period? Well, they're all designed by Leslie Harradine, who was one of the masters of Royal Dalton. Okay. He really had a feel for that era. Of course, he was portraying contemporary women who were appearing in the fashion magazines of the period. And so he's portraying them as they would be uh, as bathers in their lingerie. And this is representing the advertisements that appeared in ladies' magazines at the time. He was quite a ladies' man from all accounts, and he had plenty of ladies' magazines around for inspiration. So here's his bather. What's interesting also in the 20s was it was perfectly acceptable to have representations of new Sculptors in all media portrayed them. Mm -hmm. But then, I know this is one of your favorites here in the yes. foreground, uh, here she is in the 1930s and she now has a bathing suit. Uh, so a new modesty prevailed at that time. But it's when you turn these figurines around that you see the beauty of the artistry. Um, look how exquisitely she's painted on the reverse. Fantastic. Uh, these yeah. were top quality painters who were at work here during the late 1920s and the 30s. Harradine's designs became so successful during the Art Deco era that many artists were transferred from painting vases and cabinet plates to painting the Royal Dalton figurines. Wow. So you have top class artistry of that era. I heard something about his model and his relationship with his model. Uh, yes. <laughs> well, I'm afraid. Are there any tidbits about that? He did run away with one of his models. Oh, really? um, yes, yeah, probably best to gloss over that side. Uh, but certainly you can see how tempting they were. <laughs> yeah, I see that. <laughs> Louise, this is a piece that I recently acquired, mm -hmm. and I had never seen it in this color before. Yeah, Have you ever seen it in not, this color? Not in this particular color. She is a very popular design. Uh, she's called the Mask, and she does come in different colors. Uh, so she must have been very popular in the 1920s. She's shown here contemplating her little mask that she would have worn to the masquerade ball, which was very fashionable during that era. But I think one of the delights about this particular piece is when you turn it around. And here lurking behind her is a little cupid or cherub, uh, really representing the romance that perhaps she's going to encounter during her masquerade ball. Uh, but the different colorways that this figurine comes in, they're all very rare. They're only made for a short period, mm -hmm. each individual style of decoration. But the painters of the time were allowed much more opportunity to paint the colors that came to their artistic imagination. Well, thanks for telling us about this.